The idea of the inner pharmacy is super cool. It shows how our bodies can really take care of themselves. Especially when we try dry fasting, where we skip both food and water for a while. This practice makes our bodies tap into some amazing hidden abilities. Isn't that wild? This practice is unlike water fasting, which still allows the intake of fluids to aid in various metabolic processes. In dry fasting, the absence of water itself becomes the trigger for a metabolic shift so profound that the body, in its brilliance, begins to manufacture water from within, creating what is often referred to as metabolic water, or the clean water generated at the cellular level as a byproduct of fat oxidation. Before we go further, let me request you to join the Telegram channel. The link is in the description, because there we share deeper insights, extended discussions, and direct interaction that can amplify your journey with fasting and inner transformation. Now let us continue. The dry fast represents a deliberate plunge into metabolic stress. But rather than chaos, the body responds with harmony. Immediately prioritizing survival mechanisms and activating a rapid shift toward fat metabolism. Glucose, the body's first and easiest source of fuel, is depleted quickly. And in the absence of water to facilitate glycogen breakdown, the system cannot linger in that phase for long. It turns almost instantly to its most abundant energy reserve, fat. The metabolic transition is strikingly fast, within hours, sometimes less. The body begins breaking down triglycerides, which are stored in fat cells and composed of a glycerol backbone attached to three fatty acid chains. Once released, these fatty acids travel to the liver, where they are processed into ketone bodies, a form of fuel that can be used by most tissues, including the brain. The burning of fat, however, is not merely an energy transaction. It is also a water-generating process. As the fatty acids undergo beta-oxidation, their hydrogen atoms are stripped away and carried along the metabolic chain, ultimately reaching the electron transport chain in the mitochondria. It is here, in the final step of cellular respiration, that oxygen serves as the final electron acceptor, binding with hydrogen to form water. This is metabolic water, pure, clean, and born directly inside the cell. It is not filtered through digestion. It is not contaminated by external sources. It is water distilled from the most fundamental operations of life itself. Each molecule of fat that is oxidized not only releases usable energy in the form of ATP, but also yields hydrogen that pairs with oxygen to form water, making fat both an energy store and a hidden reservoir of hydration. The yields of this process are remarkable when compared across macronutrients, carbohydrates, though easier to burn, produce relatively little water, yielding only about 0.6 grams per gram oxidized. Protein, essential for structure and repair, produces even less, around 0.41 grams per gram. Fat, on the other hand, stands in a league of its own, yielding approximately 1.07 grams of water for every gram burned. This makes fat the most water-efficient fuel, and in the dry fast, when every drop counts, becomes the source of both energy and hydration. In essence, fat cells are storage units, not just of calories, but of hidden water. When you burn fat, you do not merely shrink the waistline or shed pounds. You release both energy and an internal trickle of distilled water that circulates through your system, sustaining you even when external intake is cut off. This is why desert animals like camels survive on fat reserves. And this is why dry fasting can feel paradoxically stabilizing after the initial stress has passed. The physiological orchestration that accompanies this shift is equally impressive. Hormones such as vasopressin, the antidiuretic hormone, rise in activity, sharply reducing water loss through urine and helping the kidneys concentrate waste into the smallest volume possible. Sweat production decreases. It's even insensible water loss. The vapor that escapes with each breath is minimized as the body becomes a closed loop system, conserving and recycling every molecule it can. The combination of fat oxidation, generating water internally and conservation mechanisms, minimizing loss, creates an elegant equilibrium where life continues without external input. The system does not collapse into chaos. Instead, it becomes leaner, tighter, and more efficient. This is the essence of the inner pharmacy, a hidden mechanism of survival and healing that activates under the discipline of fasting. Beyond the creation of water,
the metabolic state induced by dry fasting comes with additional profound benefits. The rapid induction of ketosis accelerates autophagy, the process by which cells dismantle and recycle their damaged or dysfunctional components. Autophagy is often described as cellular housekeeping, but under the stress of dry fasting, it can become an aggressive renovation project, clearing away debris and making space for regeneration. The osmotic stress, heightened by the absence of external water, may even intensify this process, signaling cells to optimize, repair, and renew. This combination of fat burning, water creation, and cellular cleaning reflects a deep intelligence in the body's design. It shows that what might seem like deprivation on the surface is, in fact, an invitation for the system to activate its most powerful and efficient survival strategies. The concentrated urine, the dry tongue, and the slowed sweating might suggest to the untrained eye that the body is suffering. In truth, these are signs of conservation. The real story is happening at the cellular level, where mitochondria are humming with activity, transforming fat into both energy and life-sustaining water. The feeling of clarity, lightness, and renewal that many practitioners report during dry fasting is not mystical, but biochemical. The brain, fueled by ketones, operates with a stable energy supply. The cells, bathed in freshly created water, maintain their integrity. The body, no longer burdened by digestion or excess, turns inward, harmonizing itself with the rhythms of survival and repair. This does not mean dry fasting is without risk. It is an extreme practice, and without preparation, knowledge, and respect for its intensity, it can be harmful. Dehydration is a real danger, and not every system can adapt equally. But when undertaken mindfully, with proper guidance, the dry fast reveals a side of human physiology that feels almost miraculous in its efficiency. This inner pharmacy is not merely about survival. It is about demonstrating the hidden reserves of resilience within the human body. By learning how to access metabolic water, you tap into a deeper understanding of how fat is more than stored energy. It is also stored hydration, a silent ally waiting to be unlocked. Every gram of fat you burn in this state is not only a step toward leanness, but also a drop of clean water released into circulation. Imagine the body as an alchemist, taking stored triglycerides and transforming them into ATP, into ketones for the brain, and into water for hydration. This is not a metaphor, this is biochemistry. It is a laboratory operating inside every cell, refining, recycling, and sustaining life through the most elegant equations of chemistry. The dry fast is simply the switch that turns this laboratory into overdrive. The implications of this practice go beyond personal health. They touch upon resilience, adaptation, and the profound intelligence woven into our biology. In a world where external resources are constantly at hand, it is easy to forget the self-sufficiency written into our design. The inner pharmacy reminds us that the body is not fragile, but adaptable, not dependent, but resourceful. It can feed itself. It can clean itself. It can even hydrate itself. The clean water born from fat oxidation is not symbolic. It is measurable, quantifiable, and undeniable. It is the ultimate proof that within deprivation lies abundance, and within restriction lies freedom. Dry fasting should never be approached carelessly. It requires respect, preparation, and ideally professional oversight, because the line between beneficial stress and harmful strain is thin. But when respected, it becomes a practice that does more than burn fat. It demonstrates the miracle of internal sustenance, where fat cells are not just burdens of excess, but vaults holding both fuel and water. Each step in the fast becomes a negotiation between scarcity and abundance. And in that negotiation, the body shows its brilliance. The inner pharmacy is not folklore, it is science. It is biochemistry at its most poetic. It is your body turning inwards, unlocking fat, distilling water, and conserving every resource like a master of efficiency. It is proof that the human organism is designed not just to survive, but to thrive under intelligent stress. This is why those who practice dry fasting often describe not just physical lightness, but a sense of empowerment, as though they have glimpsed the depth of their own resilience. The body reveals its capacity to sustain life without constant input. 
The fat that once seemed like excess becomes salvation, yielding both fuel and hydration. The mitochondria, those microscopic engines, hum with the production of clean water, molecule by molecule. And in this process, the fasting individual is not weakened, but strengthened, not deprived, but renewed. The inner pharmacy opens its doors, offering water distilled from within, energy drawn from storage, and a clarity that comes when every process is aligned with survival and repair. Always remember, though, that this practice is not casual. It is extreme, it demands awareness, humility, and care. But with proper guidance, it becomes a window into the deepest intelligence of the body, showing us that we are not dependent on constant external supply, that within our fat is a hidden reservoir of clean water, and that the discipline of dry fasting is a path into this reservoir. It is the body at its most efficient, its most elegant, and its most resilient. That is the gift of the inner pharmacy. That is the lesson of metabolic water. If you found this explanation valuable, please consider supporting the work by using the thanks button below. Every contribution, no matter how small, is continue this effort to bring forward knowledge that can empower and transform lives.